Hi everybody, I'm Latanya. Hey, hey everybody, and I'm Denise. Welcome to It's Something to Rave About. Where the sisters give their reviews and recommendations on trendy items, TV shows, movies, and we also give you that mini motivation to help you make things work. Happy hump day, everybody. Happy hump day. Just two more days to be closer to the weekend. I'm ready for Friday. I'm ready for my body day at show. <laughs> How was your week so far? Well, so far, so good. I mean, I haven't made it past 3,000 steps. So, I, I haven't done anything. No. <laughs> I mean, really, 3,000 steps is hard. I mean, especially for me, because I, I have like a dental job. So, mm -hmm. I want to know, mm -hmm. how, how are people making these steps? I mean, drop a comment. Let me know if you're making over 10,000 steps, or at least 10,000 steps, at least 5,000 steps. Somebody made it to 10,000 steps? Somebody Let actually. us know. <laughs> Drop in the Tell comments me how if you made it. it so far to 10,000. I think, did Kathy make it? I think she did. She had 11,000 <laughs> steps. I was like, go oh, girl. The highest I made it to was 5,500. So oh, I haven't been doing anything this week, but mm -hmm. I realized that when I don't do my steps, I'm less energetic. Yeah, so, I, I, when I was doing I my steps consecutively, too. I felt I was a lot more energetic and I felt good. And I just want to get back to that and I want to make it a habit. Mm -hmm. And I fell off, but guess what? I'm getting back up on it. I'm getting get back, back up on. again. That's right. We fall down, but we get up. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> okay, so then let's make our toast of the week. Oh, yeah, let's do that. But guess what? I have a yes. good switch up for us, a okay. great switch up. Okay. Today, we're going to do a champagne oh, of the week. I like so, that. Right? A nice switch, right? Mm -hmm. And so, do you want to just toast first? Sure. And then I'll just tell you all so about Of course, we're going to continue toasting to these 10,000 <laughs> steps. <laughs> Hopefully, we're one day it. we'll make it. We, we will make it. <laughs> and then also to, of course, supporting local businesses. Absolutely. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 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 Delicious. Look at Delicious. the bubbles, right? Mm -hmm. So let me tell you some something about this. This is called Pajé. I like that bottle. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. And this is a rosé. Okay. And that means trap mm -hmm. in French. Okay. So I asked him, I said, so what is that all about? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, it's more than just a word. It's a movement. I said, oh, okay. He says, like, whatever you're, you're passionate about, mm -hmm. You, it's your hustle. You get your grind on, nice. and you do it to the fullest. Okay. You know. Get my trap on. Right. I hope I said it right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's like, mm -hmm. I'll, whatever we passion, whatever we love. Okay. And he actually has an online store, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I also brought something else. This is That's La nice. Boca. I was, I was looking over You was looking over that. That's nice. This is a tequila, and it is great for all your tequila lovers you will love you know yeah try this, I like right? that bottle. It, but the bottle is gorgeous mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now i'm glad you didn't drink all uh, of it because right <laughs> I, I never said because um one of the, the other reasons why i wanted to switch up and bring champagne mm -hmm. this week is because it's wedding season coming up oh yes and Mother's Day is right around the corner. You know what that means. Brunches. Yep, it means brunches. I mean, mm -hmm. this will make the best mimosas. Yes. yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So, I have a little trick that I use for my mimosas. Okay. I don't use, like... I like learning the trick. <laughs> you like... Mm -hmm. I don't like using, like, orange juice. Mm -hmm. I use, like, maybe, like, a flavored orange juice. So, what is that? This one is a orange peach mango that's okay. what because I, I knew you love nice mango fun. yes i mango so mm -hmm. i was like let me pull that well thank you sister mm -hmm. oh we missing this strawberry mm -hmm. <laughs> but i want you to taste it with that okay it gets a nice little twist okay right mm -hmm. well let me see let's see <laughs> <laughs> try that mm -hmm. nice nice right mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> mother's day is going to be nice <laughs> now y'all <laughs> Lit. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> That's what I, I mean, with this, you can't go wrong mm -hmm. with a nice brunch. Mm -hmm. You can treat your mothers right this year. Right. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you. So the name of his website is called pajfashion.com. Okay. On there, he has some clothes. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has his champagne, which he offers a brute. 
Okay. Okay. A cab of gold and then a rosé. Mm -hmm. He has a tequila. I'm on rosé so mm -hmm. far. I have to try the others. Yeah, try mm -hmm. the others. I'm going to try the tequila later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check on you. <laughs> check on you later. But yeah, and then you got to check out his clothes. Okay. Oh, wow. And he has like... Um, different areas where they got music, mm -hmm. like speakers. Like, he has a little bit of everything. That's his track. Okay. Right? <laughs> right. So I want everyone to add this to your list because you don't want to make a toast this year for your wedding mm -hmm. without the champagne. Nor do you want to miss, you know, not have this on Mother's Day. Exactly. Exactly. I'm so, making her part of my Mother's Day. Right. <laughs> so add this to your list, y'all. Add it to your list. All right. It's fun back time. All right, I'm bad this week, sister. So, did you know wasp get drunk? No, <laughs> oh, a wasp. Yeah. Oh. It's drunk. So, like, have you ever noticed, like, towards the end of the summer, mm -hmm. they become really aggressive? Yes. That's because and they're scary. drunk. From what? Fermented uh, fruit. The fermented really? fruit makes them drunk and make them really aggressive. So don't take it out on them. They're just intoxicated. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to read about the toilet paper. Okay. And I'm called Laura Tush. Oh, that's cute. It is a cute name, but I know y'all saying, what is she raving about toilet, toilet paper? paper? All right, I'm interested to see this. Right, right. But this toilet paper um, was made by two sisters like us. Oh, that's yeah, cute. Yeah, they started. It looks cushiony. <laughs> yeah, it does look cushiony. <laughs> and they started a company in 2019, the Isa Sisters. Okay. And when they started, I mean, it was just before the pandemic hit. So they time, right because what they said is that people was running out of toilet paper. Remember when they first yes. started, people was running out of toilet paper. It was so, crazy, right? So mm -hmm. they were able to like donate or give away toilet paper, toilet wow. paper for people I wish to I would have known about them <laughs> right. at that time. Now, what's great about that? We got that, down to our last roll. Did you? Yeah, it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> I know that is scary. And then scary. the delivery people was like, okay, we can send you yeah. in um, a month or so. No, we need it now. Gas stations everywhere. It was gone. Right, was out. Right, out. so I wish I would have so, known about them. Exactly. So, this toilet paper is made out of bamboo. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you would think bamboo is hard, right? Mm -hmm. But I want you to feel it. It look cushiony. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's soft. I would yeah. use it. Mm -hmm. I would definitely use it, right? Yeah. So, it's made out of bamboo, which it makes it great for the environment. Exactly. Because that's one reason why they got started, because they got tired of, you know, turn, uh, cutting down trees. Right. So, this is saving the earth, because mm -hmm. bamboo grows a lot. Okay. Okay. So that's really good. So it's hypoallergenic. Mm -hmm. So that's good for you. Mm -hmm. And it's good on your septic tank. So you know, I don't you know if anybody ever had flushed their toilet and got it clogged up. Yeah. <laughs> that is not a fun mm -hmm. no, That's not, not a fun, fun thing. Right. But and certain this, toilet paper um, companies are those worse other than the brands. We won't mention those yeah, other brands. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they will clog up your toilet, but this won't. And when you break it apart, like in other toilet papers, you didn't see any particles. Sometimes when you break toilet Ooh, paper, you see yes. it's not in there. Okay. So nice. um, that's why I think we should go out and try this. Now, Definitely. you have to look on their website, Lord okay. Touch, which will be in our in link, link below. below. And you have to um, subscribe. If you can subscribe to that description, subscription. Mm -hmm. Just like you have to subscribe to us. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> or you can buy a six pack or a 12 pack. Oh. So I want you to add this to your list. I will add it to my list and stack up. So in case you never know what will happen these days. Right. Well, I'm going to get the subscription plan. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> All okay. right, well, thank you for telling us. That's sister. sure. Mm -hmm. So what are you raving about? All right, so this week I am raving about um, Chick-fil-A, a recipe for the copycat Chick-fil-A nuggets. Mm. Yes, and I found a recipe on Pinterest by the um, frugal Navy wife. And so ch mm -hmm. don't you know how you feel on Sundays when you want to try it? On, that's the day that you really want Chick-fil-A. Yeah, it's like... On Sundays. All... And they're closed. I actually drove there one day and they were <laughs> I forgot they wasn't open on Sunday. Well, if you ever feel that way again, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I tried this recipe out and it's the, it comes very close to mm -hmm. Chick-fil-A nuggets. Really? Yes. And again, you can find it on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. And um, the key ingredient, the secret ingredient is pickle juice. 
Really? Yes, and the reason why is because it keeps the moisture in the chicken. Is Hi. that why no. they so exactly. nice? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely put the recipe on our Facebook page. It's something mm -hmm. to rave about. So you can definitely use it anytime you want, especially on Sundays. So add this to your list, guys, because it comes as close as you can get to Chick-fil-A nuts. So a question, mm -hmm. sir. On a scale of one to, I'm going to say five, five being the hardest, because you know I like easy rate, uh, recipes. Okay. How, how is it? Oh, as far as easy? Yes, because that's what matters. I can make Chick-fil-A <laughs> nuggets. And <laughs> can make Chick -fil -A so nuggets. we will rate it. It's like one, one. for easy. Oh. Exactly. One for easy. So this will be quick and, and easy during the week or on Sundays when you just oh. can't get to the nuggets. Oh. And if you don't even want the nuggets, you can make the strips to put in your salad for your lunch. Then food. that's probably what I will do yes. because I like to have that chicken in my salad. Exactly. Oh, okay. Now Chick Fil A is a ten. This recipe to me is a nine. How close? Of, how close can we get? Ten because I'm closer than that. So really... definitely, what you gonna do, D? I'm gonna add it to my list. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right, so it's rainbow time. All right, so I guess I'm going to explain it. So. Okay. We put movies and series that we watched for a couple of months in here, right? Yeah. It is a couple of months, yeah. right? Okay. And build it up. <laughs> build it up. And whatever I pull out, that's what we're going to rave about. Sound good to me. All righty. Here you go. All right. So, this week, I have to do it. Okay. Do Thunder. Thunder, Thunder Force. <laughs> do you remember the Thundercats? Yeah. Oh, that's what you told yeah. me from. Okay. Yeah. So, um, this is actually a movie on Netflix. It's actually mm -hmm. number three on the um top ten list. Right. And so I watched it. I actually like it. You do have to be in the mood for like you know stupid funny okay but i was in the mood and i watched it with the kids and they enjoyed it burst out with laughter on some parts some parts you like okay but yeah overall i mm -hmm. enjoyed it and who played in it it was um octavia spencer and melissa mccarthy oh and you know what i love both of them mm -hmm. you know separately yeah so together that gotta be great right yeah did you like it well <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna say i hated it okay uh it, i like it, it i like um, like on a scale of one to ten, I give it a six or seven. I know it's hurt. I hate to hurt you like that. I hate to hurt you like that. But I usually don't like superhero movies, but I actually enjoy. And this. I normally love right. superhero. I guess maybe because I was expecting something else. Okay. But it did have a good plot. Mm -hmm. I did chuckle some, mm -hmm. so that just made it go up to a seven. Okay. 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 I'll right. take a seven. And so for, for me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I just love that how. The two friendships. I mean, I know that they broke up. Yeah, they stopped talking for a while. Oh, what's happened? I don't. Mm. Remember. Yeah, I don't even. Remember. It wasn't that major why they, you know, why they stopped speaking. But no, actually, it was to the girl because she was really into her studies. Yeah. And it, yeah, but I'm not going to tell you the, you know, the story. The story. Right. But it might. It reminds me of if you have a great friendship. No matter how many years, days, whatever go past, mm -hmm. when you get back together, you can just pick up where you where you left off. Right, Their friendships exactly. Right. Right. And I was thinking about the relationship between them too. How she's like crazy fun, and then oh, yeah. the other <laughs> girl is like, I can be funny too. And that kind of reminded me of like me and her, uh, my sister growing up. I'm like looking at her like, okay, what is she doing? She crazy for doing that. You did, you yes. like that. Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm like I'm never gonna do anything like that. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> but then now. I'm looking at you like okay what are you gonna do next this is exciting right <laughs> <It's exciting. laughs> so and that's how their relationship is and she was so thankful for the girl coming back into her life and everything she was, yeah. and so um i liked the how i liked how their um relationship was yeah mm -hmm. that was really great mm -hmm. so okay y'all she didn't make me move it up to a seven <laughs> after she explained yeah, it so yeah. we definitely gotta add seven, seven and a half. half oh seven and you half? moved up to a seven and a half i think I, okay i'll take a seven and a half <laughs> So, add it to your list, y'all. Add it to your list. Okay, sis, so it's time for you to give us some of your positive vibes so we can finish out this week. Sounds good to me. So, this week's affirmation comes from Sahaj Kohli, and it states, the fact that someone else um, loves you doesn't rescue you from the project of loving yourself. So, you may have family members that love you, your significant other loves you, but do you love you? When you look in the mirror, 
Do you love yourself? No. <laughs> That's <laughs> important. So, exactly. So, you should never try, stop trying to better yourself. You should never stop trying to become a better version mm -hmm. of yourself. And then you can fall in love with yourself over and over and over again. Just don't go overboard, you know, because the cockiness is not good. Mm -hmm. But yes, love yourself. Continue to better yourself. That's what I feel. Okay. And like Lauren Hill says, how you gonna win when you ain't right with them? Oh, Are you gonna win when you ain't right with them? <laughs> <laughs> so hey y'all, that's a wrap for this week's show. Thank you for joining us on It's Something to Rave About. And we would love to hear from you about today's show. Definitely. Yeah, from the Lord Tush toilet paper, from the amazing champagne, and yeah, the... Yeah, the recipe for Chick-fil-A. Did yeah. you like it? Did it come close to it? Oh, yeah. And what about the steps? Like, how far did you make it on the steps? So right. I want to know. My goal is 6,000. So yeah. Far. Make sure you drop a comment. Let us know what's going on. Yeah. And if you have a product or a new business you want us to rave about, just tell them how. Yeah, just contact us at something to rave underscore underscore about. Okay, and please don't forget to share our show with your friends and subscribe. Until next week, we say goodbye. Bye.